Welcome back to another episode of We Are Again, somewhere in the jungle, and uh, this time we are going further and further up the Shrieker Mountain, and uh, we're going to meet up with Gareth, who is supposed to be somewhere up here. Uh, let's see, it could be that all of these dudes are neutral, and we can actually talk to them, so let's just try this out. Such barbarism. What happened here? Yeah, good question. Uh, decomposing, still. The Seeker's head twitches upwards as you approach. His eyes open a fraction. Hmm. He struggles to focus his gaze upon you. A low moan escapes his cracked lips. His eyes close and his head sags forward. That is weird. Oh, look at that, there are some tongues. You thought you'd already seen the full depths of Magister cruelty. Hmm. No point in lingering unless we want to meet the same fate. Well, the next Magister I meet is going to suffer. I... It would be a mercy to kill these Seekers now. There's no saving them. Actually, I don't know. Hmm. There's nothing to be done. Let's keep moving. A blade through the heart would be a kindness to these lost souls. The merciful thing would be to hasten their journey to the Hall of Echoes. Hmm. Okay, let's just save real quick. Uh, why am I the one without any hmm, source? Of course. Anyway, uh, let's try this out. Let's just uh, see if we can uh, stop them from decomposition. That's not going to work. Uh, hoi. Okay, so they end up dead. That's very interesting. Mm, in this case, maybe I can just heal them normally and everything is fine. Yeah, healing them normally might be the way to do this. Maybe you really need just a heal spell. I don't know. Or maybe you need heal and the blessing in combination. Otherwise, it won't work. Hmm. Weird. Really, really weird. Hmm. Healing spells and potions will damage. Oh, yeah, that one. Uh, okay, healing spells and potions damage you. This is decomposition. But how do you get rid of decomposition? I need a spell that is not healing. Hmm. And uh, purging does also. Yeah, purging gets rid of sores, right? So, let's try something. Mm. So, who is... This goes to... This one could be sold. Uh, I need the headpiece of this one. Armor. The one that is... There we go. Corrupted tyrant thingy. Let's see. Yeah, of course it is. So, let's see. Invalid target. Oh, that's so cool. Like the sound it makes, that is just amazing. Alright, now we're back to normal. So I don't know if I can actually help them or not. I just need to figure out a way to uh, get this decomposition going. Or, or some anti position. Okay. That's not good. Yeah. That was quick. Uh, maybe next time we go a little bit slower. Righty. Ah, look at that. Uh, we can actually climb up there and get ourselves... Magister Ames. Oh, look at that. Careful, I've spotted a trap. Spotted a trap, yes. Attack! Has it turned on us or just lost its mind? Well, it uh, tries to stay safe still. It could be a dig site here with all of those shovels around. Really? Okay, there's nothing up there. This is just 
high ground yet again. And... Oh, wait. There's another shovel. Telekinesis is actually quite useful. Uh, ah, there we go. There's a sack with nothing in it. Oh, wait. Uh, I should actually let the Red Prince do all of the picking up uh, of random lootable objects. For a very simple reason. He is the lucky one. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so this goes down and further north. I'm not going to do that yet. Okay, so let's prepare those. There we go, those shovels. Uh, they can go. There we go. So. Ah, wait, no. Um, before I do anything like that, I want to go back up here again. And I want to talk to this Magister Ames, who's waiting up here. Maybe even trying to ambush whatever's going down here. Oh, shite. Mm, shite indeed. Uh, letter to Casper. Old-fashioned pants. And uh, that's pretty much it. Okay. Hmm. Let's buy that. And... Even it out a little bit. Perfect. I figured it was only a matter of time. <coughs> I, I'm ready to pay the price. Ask him what he is doing here, yeah, yeah. That's not for me to say. If you must kill me, then kill me. Oh boy, look at all of the persuasion methods. And of course we can't do anything because we don't have any persuasion. Uh demand, tea drawers, no. <sighs> okay, uh, persuasion. So I could go with the lizard, uh, and I could also go with the other dude. So, uh, looks like I have to do the talking with the lizard now. It's really weird. This is really weird. Like, if you click up there, and all of a sudden you click through it. And it goes through the mine. Whatever. Uh, weird. Oh, so, there we go. Uh, how much is it? Ah, two. That's a nice bartering. Look at how much gold we actually save. It's like a third. That is a lot of gold saving, right? A lot of gold. Is this a third? Eh, don't know. Is this, this is actually less, right? So you save more if you buy the letter rather than uh, if you buy something for five gold. And this is a fourth again. So this is a fifth. This is a fourth, yes. And then you have a third. So depending on the price, it actually changes a little bit. So now it's 30%. Okay, somehow the price is absolutely strange. And it's a bartering in attitude. Okay. Bartering six? This one has high attitude, 15. How much is that? That's five. Okay, so that's attitude. I don't know what attitude is, right? Because it, it doesn't seem to change the prices. And then you have like this discount. This is a discount of 27%. There's no discount uh, happening here. And then you have this with all of the crossed out uh, numbers and stuff. That is weird. That is absolutely weird. Whatever, let's even this out. Accept it. Righty. So, let's continue. I figured it was only a matter of time. I, I'm ready to pay the price. Okay. Uh, let's see what he's doing. That's not for me to say. If you must kill me, then kill me. Hmm. And why is there no music anymore? Oh, look at all of the persuasion methods that are not here anymore. That's so iffy. Uh, tell him that deaf at your... Wait a minute. What's the highest? Uh, strength and constitution. So, inform him that your power is greater than that of Alexander and Dallas combined. You do not fear them, they should fear you. And it is successful. Okay. I really can't tell you more. I owe Alexander anything. I don't question him. Okay, somehow the sound is completely broken. Yeah, it's completely broken. What is going on? Uh, let's just load up again. That is weird. There we go. Oh, Alright. 
I figured it was only a matter of time. Let's Ask him what he's saying. doing. Strength persuasion. Oh, I, there we go. I really can't tell you more. I owe Alexander everything. I don't question him. I'm no warrior. My, my mission has only ever been to watch and share what I see. I give information to Alexander. He doesn't give information to me. Hmm. Ask about Alexander's intentions for Saw's wield as well. Ask what information he's already passed on. What are his intentions? Yes. Oh, I, don't know. I really don't. All I know is what I see. We're combing the island looking for weapons and artifacts. Anything that might help deal with the damned sorcerers once and for all. Hmm. They deserve their fate. Dallas makes them silent, obedient. And if they're truly lucky, they become even more. Mm hmm More. What do you mean by that? Living weapons. Fearsome creatures. Dallas calls them Shriekers. The Seekers have no hope of overcoming them. Hmm. <sighs> well, I could kill him, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not free. I belong to the Divine Son, and I am ready to die for him if I must. <sighs> well... Time to die. Uh, how much damage do I do? Let's go with the highest amount that we get. Whoa. That's a physical breaker. Then I could follow up with... I have to be careful with the poison so I don't accidentally uh, hit someone with that. Just saying. Oh, a red snapper. That's not what I want. Oh, wait. Like, the whole squad is up there. So, let's see. Let's just do that. And another one. And just a hit, and we got it. 2,000 experience. That is somewhat insane. And that's the rest of it. Perfect. Let's save, heal, and get down there. I do want to do the talking with uh, the main character, but... Um, yeah, the persuasion stuff, right? It's just so annoying. It would be nice that there are some different options just given to you depending on whatever characters are there uh, inside the conversation. The problem is there's only one character in the conversation and the rest can do whatever. And that's the iffy bit. Actually, if they can do whatever, then... Uh Let's just see. Let's talk to Yimit. An old else pained gaze passes between the crucified. Anger bubbles within him. He's Doop -de -doo -de -doo -de -doo. Someone sees me. Someone still sees me. That is not good. Anyway, uh, let's see what we get. Nothing, really. Dear ones, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Uh huh. Well, ask him if he knew the people on these crosses. They're as good as my family. But I cannot heal them. I cannot heal them. So much pain. Hmm. Why doesn't he help them down or anything? They are changed. That Dallas woman did something to their minds. They won't be moved and they can't be healed. They resisted at all costs. They can't even be healed. Using such magic on them would kill them now. Such beautiful souls, corrupted by such evil. Hmm, well, you've seen the Shriekers yourself. Truly horrifying. Uh, okay, what about um, the worst fate waiting for these poor souls? Yes, let's go for number two. They're called Shriekers. Upon sight, they blast passers-by with source so powerful none can withstand it. Instant death, that is guaranteed. Where you find Shriekers, you can trust the Divine Order is hiding something they desperately want to keep private. The fate of my dear ones proves there must be some such thing on this very island. Hmm, an escape. Stay away from Shriekers if you want to live. I know not how much longer my friends here have. Okay, sadly we can't do anything else now. You must help us. Hmm... So, what about that one? Uh, some sharp stuff? And some nails. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. 
Sheep shears. Do we need the scales with the nest? Nice. Uh, that one goes to the beast. That one can actually be sold. Forgot cleaver. Uh, can be sold as well. That one goes to the beast. Oh, yeah. I wanted to read that. Uh, letter of Casper. You will never read this. I don't know why I write it. Composing a letter to the dead seems as fruitless as wearing wolf skin in the heat of summer. I hate you. I hate what you did to our family, to our parents. I saw you as special. I know you for the horror you really were. I hate that because of you. All I had was taken from me. I hate that because of you. I spend each moment fearing that I will lose the new family I have made for myself. The Divine Son will see it to it that no one can suffer the same fate. Would that he could have saved our family, but at least he saved me, and for that I owe him my allegiance. Ames. Okay. More you know. Dead Seekers and so Samadale. Oh! At least Han is safe at the shelter. That Samadel. Yeah, the pyro teacher Samadel with haste and ignition and all of the cool stuff. Spontaneous combustion. Yeah, do we want to get that? Searing daggers, I know that. Haste, I know that. Ah, uh, fireball's kind of cool. Hell's a fireball with 3 meter explosion radius, that's pretty neat. And it will deal tremendous amounts of damage if I take this one, then maybe the... Ah, look at that! The numbers even scale. That's neat. That is really neat. Supernova, I got this one. Spontaneous combustion. To attack a character if the character is affected by burning or necrophile, removes these statuses and deal additional damage for each turn of duration remaining. That is cool. So I have to ignite them. Once they're burning, I have to do the spontaneous combustion thing to do, like, shredding damage or something. That is amazing. So, this is 400 gold. Do I have enough gold? Yes. Mm, absolutely nice. Absolutely nice. Maybe I could... Yeah, maybe I could buy it. Maybe I could steal it. Who knows? Uh, it's just weird. What's it called? Garrus Rallying Point Teleportation. Smoke, blood, and carnage. The Magisters didn't spare a single seeker. Hmm. Oh, there's a human foot. Look at that. An empty bottle. Simple ring. Um, some pepper seed and whatnot. feel quite right, but I need all the equipment I can find. <laughs> oh. Okay, bowls don't have any value. Tarot is good. The ornate books need. And the empty mark is there for, like, filling things with it. So, it's like a Kerbin. stares at the body of his dead comrade, tightly gripping his weapon in a cold fury. Well, they did attack, and now there's... Ooh. Oh ho ho ho, far side infusion. That's an interesting one. Unlocks range attack for your incarnate, provides so much magical armor. Hmm. Power infusion. Far side infusion. Okay, so both of them provide armor and conjure incarnate. Uh, conjure is a personal elemental that matches the ground surface it's summoned onto. Your incarnate can be buffed with infusions. Once you hit summoning ability level 10, a colossal incarnate champion will answer your summons. Now that sounds like fun. Hmm. Elemental totem. Maybe the same thing. Yes, but it may not be able to move. Supercharge. Target totem will summon deals 100% base damage during its next attack. Only the next attack, though. Hmm. <coughs> uh oh. Dimensional bolt, shoot a volatile bolt that deals so and so much damage of a random type and then creates a corresponding surface. Hmm. So if you don't have a specific element, then this is what you can do. The summoning stat itself doesn't work like that, I think. Target character regenerates vitality and magic armor according to the number of allied characters and totems in their vicinity. Oh. Cheat move, cheat move. Ah, yeah, shackles of pain. Do I know that one or not? Like. Do I have that in my inventory somewhere? Death wish. 
after a character receives damage bonus equal to the percentage of the missing health. No. Do I have Bloodsucker somewhere though? You would attack the Are you so nah, I can't. Yeah, I can't open that. <laughs> Uh, okay, what about the rest we got there? That's water, water, some air damage, then decent bows, decent crossbows, decent other stuff, and some acid. Let's move that thing, 24. Then the rest is just normal, kind of. Yeah, all of this is also normal. I'm actually in need of the green, blue, or purple, or even legendary things. Okay, so this Kerbin dude does have decent stuff on him. I just don't know if I already know the uh, the spells for it. Ah, really? This won't go unavenged. I'll see. I'll see to that. Yes, Jules. It's a good thing my injuries have healed. I wouldn't want to miss my chance to avenge our fallen. Hmm. And he doesn't have very interesting things as well. Right, uh, what else do we have up here? Ah, more pillows, look at that. It's not junk, I have feathers inside. Do we really just go for that teeth now? Because there's nothing else that's valuable. Ah, chest. Oh, yeah. Okay, what's that letter? Magister Zaya, ensure you leave a little something behind in case any stragglers come back. Make it hard for the seekers to breathe, if you know what I mean, do you? Okay, that one can be sold. Uh, that goes to the beast. That goes to the beast. Ornate book. Roll call of fallen seekers. May their names be hollowed in the Hall of Echoes. Long after our memories of them has faded on this earthly plane. The Elder Spire, Kork, Cosmin, Baron, Morg, Storm Warden, Hiker, Anu, Anja, and Wisdom. Uh, may they yet find what they seek. This one goes to the beast. This one goes to the beast. This one goes to the beast. This one goes to Fane. Uh, that ring can be sold. Beast. Beast. And that's pretty much yeah. I have to sort my inventory here. There we go. Need to manage it. Manage it, manage it, manage it. So, what about this one? Simone. Did you see what those magisters did? Putting our dead on display like... Like hunting trophies. Well, so you have to break morale somehow, do you? Right. Hail strike. That's the water stuff. Uh, but I don't have any watery spells. And I don't scale. And this is just the teleporter. Abandoned camp. Hmm. Ah, bark at the rune. Flame rune. Interesting. Is there anything in here? That is somewhat important. Let's see. Ah! What do we have here? We got ourselves some pixie dust. Ah, carved from wood, bark and tree, born from fire, blazing heat, fueled by oil, dark and raw, rune of flame from ashes draw. Nice. Ah, there we go. The nice thing is I don't need to move it to the uh, to the lizard now because he just picks up everything. So dragon. We're safe back at the shelter. Thank the divine. She's not up to facing the magisters again. Not now. Hmm. Toy wooden thingy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, can you steal from them a second time if they moved places and basically got reinstated as a different character? If you think about it. Oh, stick something out. One must put in due effort if one is to reap the proper reward. Oh, you found the supplies. The Magisters aren't as thorough as I presumed. Locked. Uh, well, that's the wrong one that opens it. Pick lock. 
Unlock the bone finger. There we go. Ooh. ooh. Good stuff. Right. That one can be sold. Uh, that's edible things. That It's a complete edible thing. That uh, usually means... Don't I have bread on the main character somewhere? What happened? Oh, okay. I just placed it in here. So, this one goes to the beast. Uh, this one goes to the beast. This one is an interesting one, but we... Oh, it is slightly better, but no, we don't. Uh, this one will be identified. Poison resistance is not... It's actually really good. Uh, that one goes to me. That one go, uh, can be sold. My first bow. Oh, come on. <coughs> and it scales. <sighs> Why? Strength. Uh, set suffocation for one turn and some other nice shenanigans. Great. So let's see and compare the damage of this thing. Strength and HP. Yeah, the damage is higher. Oh, vitality 500. How much do we actually lose? Probably more than just 23 HP, is it? Yeah, much more than 23 HP. Uh, 10 more, in fact. But we do more damage. Yep. More damage is more better. <laughs> so, let's just, uh... Move this a little bit. There we go. And here we got Whirlwind and that stuff and that stuff. Where exactly is the... Source ability? Wasn't there some kind of a... I thought that was some source attack that did tremendous damage. Anyway, now we have Whirlwind, which is insane. Righty. What about this one? Fortifying scroll. That one can go to Fane. Fane is my magic carrier. I need to give them a bit more. Oh, better. Need to give them a bit more order. Down those steps and tell me what you see. Hmm. Agree to take a look. You would attack the magic Are you so eager to die? I do see shriekers. You cannot stand against the shriekers. So you think those things down the steps there are dangerous? The ones hanging on the sticks. Yes. That's why he wants to know. Wanna go to the wharf, don't I? I'm a wharf rat. There's food and stuff on the wharf. Might even be a ship. I've always wanted to be a ship rat. Hmm. Tell the right it should go if it absolutely feels it. Actually, not that. Uh, not right now. Tell the right it risks becoming a dead rat. Is that high on its list of dreams? Yes. Its eyes narrow. You want the food for yourself, don't you? I should have never said anything. I'm going to protect my food. Stay away from it, you. Well, that's not a good idea. Let's see how long it takes until it goes kaput. And it's dead. <sighs> Hmm. We'll find them, or we'll find another way. Okay, wait a minute. Ah, uh, oh, bollocks. When did I save the law? La last time around. Ay, ay, ay. Hopefully before the rat. Please before the rat. Oh, boy, please before the rat. Yes. You would so, the where's the rat? Are you so eager to die, Seeker? So, you think those things down the steps there are dangerous? Why do you want to know? Well, there's food and stuff on the wharf. Might even be a ship. I've always wanted to be a ship, Rat. Let's go for number one. Let's see. Maybe he reacts differently. Okay, right, great. I'll go, sir. Cheers. Uh oh. You would attack the Majesty's direction. Right. I don't want this rat to die. Okay. So that means we are going to refrain from talking to the rat. We are going to make a marker, then I have to use the purging ones in order to get the Shrieker state, and... Okay, there's one Shrieker, two Shriekers, how many more Shriekers are there? So there are third Shrieker somewhere around the corner? Third Shrieker over here, so there... I don't know how many more Shriekers are there. They can't just have an infant. That's actually a very small area, look at that. I actually thought it was much larger. Oh! Okay, so... Uh, per 
Lord Shriekers and talk to Rat. In this order, not in that order. All right. We'll find them, or we'll find another way. So, oh, there's Gratiana again. Nice. As you approach, Gratiana turns to you. Who moves a lighter now? Her voice is warmer, but still tempered by the scene around her. Hmm. How much gold does she have? Still, of a lot. Oh. Or for all wares. Eh. I have to. Get an awful lot back from that. There we go. Maybe that one. Yeah, except. Sweet. <laughs> ah, nice, 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 nice. Too bad I cannot sort anything now. Righty. Does she have any new items, though? Most of it is just items that I gave her, though. Staff, no. Uh, <coughs> if anything, I want the one. Hmm. Hmm. And she has this electrical stuff with the... Hmm. Teleportation is really necessary. Yeah, I could actually go with teleportation, teach it to the dwarf, and then I'm gonna take the item with uh, teleportation from the dwarf, and then I'm gonna give it someone else. So I have three characters that can teleport. Two might just be enough, to be honest, but uh, more is always better, of course. More is always better. Oh, look at that. 13 to 15 creates one meter poison surface when targeting terrain. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um... I need to know 10 and 12. All right. And what about this poison thingy? 10 and 11. The uh, this poison one is actually much better. I should get it. Uh, yeah, let's just get this one. It says it's of the lizard, but we don't care. So how much is it? 389. Uh, 500. Absolutely not. We're going to barter our way through here. Unbelievable. Unbelievable how bartering does that. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's offer all our wares. And... Hmm. I need to sell all of that there. Mm. Even it out a little bit. There we go, except. So let's offer all the wares. Even it out. There we go. Nice. So. Now we got the item. Perfect. And just need to move it now. Sort it a wee bit. Oh, where's that wand? There. Ah, nice. And because there are no undead creatures anymore, we can just do that and be fine. 13, 15, uh, 23, 96. Ah. I just have to sell that stuff. At one point, I really have to sell that. Uh, this water thingy goes to me, though. Right, now back to the dialogue. It would be a sweet joy to see the Magisters chased from this land. But I fear all I will see today is death. Hmm. Explain that you found a purging one in the vault. Not that. Not only that. I also got a purging helmet, and now I can purge... Anything I need. Praise unto the goddess. There may yet be hope for today. Hmm. As you approach, I'm pleased to see if you ever wish. Just like that. Okay. Now let's talk to Axton. 
If I were you, I'd stay close to Sir Gareth once the fighting begins. Whatever path he takes will be the surest way to victory. Well, it's not guaranteed, but he's definitely a strong fella, and helping each other out is definitely a good idea. Now, that's an interesting mix. Polymorph and Scoundrel. Interesting. So, what kind of items do we have here? Um, Perseverance. Yet again. Do we get any good stuff here? Probably not. Right. Ah, <laughs> and this is where all of the resurrection scrolls are. <laughs> ah, box one thousand three hundred. Actually, I have a decent amount of gold. I can just get all of them and be happy about it. Wouldn't even need the mod for that. High quality tormented soul. Soul. Now that's cool. He does have a decent amount of crafting stuff. It's kind of <laughs> that's kind of strange. So blank summoning skill book. That's something that we need. The blank stuff is as good as the um, as the other stuff is. And the problem is I do not know if I already read the book or not. But it's usually the case. Everything book related, you all, or at least I already read. Right. Okay. He got a decent amount of gold. Let's see. Uh, there's nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Let's even this out. There we go. Let's hope that none of it was a... Yeah, it's just a draining one, and not a purging one. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Righty. And Gareth. A welcome ally. Lucian be praised. Mm-hmm. And we got whirlwind. Pro yeah, I don't need provoke. The bouncing shield is actually pretty cool, but it only works with a shield. And... Uh, Crippling blow. Does crippling? No, it requires melee weapon. Can be used with anything. There's no two-handed warfare uh, warfare skill. That would be cool though. So we got that one. Fortified poison dart fossil. Ah, yeah, the fossil strike. That's something that I need to learn as well. Uh, impalement. Do I know that one? No, not yet. I have worm tremors, but no impalement. Yeah, worm tremors, but no impalement. So I am going to get impalement and fossil strike. And maybe... Yeah, fortify and mint metal, why not? Now we pretty much got all of the skills. Uh, let's see. Can't sell anything else. So let's do it like so. Be happy. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Gareth glances over his shoulder and his voice tightens. The Shriekers keep watch and their gaze isn't the only one we should avoid. The murderer is here. Alexander. Hmm. Where's your eyebrow? Now, where is he now? The butcher's in the ruins beyond the Shriekers. And he's not alone, as well he wouldn't be. The Order keeps its godwoken leashed. Hmm. Ask him what comes next. Nothing, as long as those Shriekers stand. Get that purging wand and silence them. Yeah, I try to, but I'm going to use other methods. Show Gareth the purging wand and tell him you'll take care of the Shriekers. Yes, uh, so you have a helmet that will purge the Shriekers. Uh, you are ready. Well... Uh let's if I show him that. better. I'd think the gods themselves were your counsel. He reaches for the wand, but pulls back before touching it. Would that I could aim this wand at Alexander myself to bleach his soul and sear his skin. No. This thing was birthed from a wicked era. What would Lucian say, seeing me confront one evil with another? Go. Take down those shriekers. Hmm. What would have happened if I told him about the helmet, though? <laughs> uh, that would have been weird. So, now we learn impalement, this one, and this one. How many more slots do I have here? Actually, not enough. Um, and, um, do I use bleeding? Yeah, not really. Oh! Oh! 
Oh. Oh. I just noticed something. I noticed something really, really good. Um. I can, because of the torturer uh, trade, or whatever it is, I can inflict bleeding and poison through armor. And also uh, some kind of other stuff. What was it? Uh, what can pass through armor? And the duration extended by one turn. So burning, poison, bleed. Uh, so poison and bleed is the stuff that I usually do. And then there's of course necrophile, acid, suffocation, entangle, death wish, and rupture. Uh, this is amazing. So if I use burning as well, I need to make... <laughs> uh, bollocks, I can do anything now. That's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. I'm just limited by the amount of action points, but I may be able to do this. Uh, Decaying Touch, on the other hand, does not do any bleed. It's a nice spell. Uh, okay, it's actually good against healing. Um, this one here does initial damage as well. It infects the target and reduces their health point a bit. So those two are kind of cool spells. The problem is they don't bleed or poison. They don't do any damage over time. Um, they are just there to shred through the physical uh, armor that the enemy has. And uh, I could actually change those two with other things um, that may be a bit more useful, like the Worm Tremor. Um, this one says, uh, at your command, poisonous worm slither up to the target. Da, 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 da. Uh, who is not affected by magic armor. Affected characters uh, cannot move or teleport, and they receive poison damage each turn. Now, it says that they receive poison damage, but I don't know if they are poisoned. Um, but yeah, it's definitely better than the decay. Well, actually, no. Let's take this away and do worm trevor in there. Uh, and this is there for the fire extension. And then, of course, we have trigger spores, which uh, only really works if we have some spores on hand. Um, what is this one? This one also makes a puddle, right? So I can either use this or this. So what's the difference? Damage is based on your level and receives bonus from intelligence. Same thing. Spikes and parallel characters and items. Okay, uh, setting crippled and dealing so much earth damage also creates an oil puddle. This one also creates an oil puddle uh, where it lands and it does that. So this is 13 meters. This is all characters. I don't know. Hmm. It could be an AOE thing. Let's see. Uh, let's get the triggering touch here. And do this instead. Allies near to you start slowly regenerating physical armor. That's actually quite cool. The problem is, uh, does it, it? Yeah, it doesn't scale with anything. It seems. Fortify might be better, but fortify the target cannot be teleported, removes poison, bleed, and all of the stuff. Okay. Restores 25 uh, physical armor for three turns. Does it mean every turn? Or does it mean across three turns? So it's like... I think it's like 25 each turn. So we end up with 70 something. So it would be better for me to do this instead. Um, but this one has a lower cooldown. This one has a higher cooldown. But this one uses less action points. So it might be more useful. I'm just going for more damage. Uh, let's just see how this one goes. Uh, let's save. And, uh, impalement is... Let's try this out. Awesome. Okay. Uh, then there's this stuff, and then we can just trigger the thing. Uh-oh. Watch out where you're going. Uh, and then we have these worms, which are also oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, Geomancy. So, let's see. There is a smoke cloud. Okay, those poisonous worms may deal uh, poisonous damage. Whatever. Um, I just hope that this works. 
Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The fact that it's AoE means I can take care of more enemies now. It just doesn't deal as much damage though. It's kind of... Yeah, like this one is more AoE related, and whereas this one is very specific. But this one can be used uh, before triggering that. So I can do fire and use the torture stuff. Oh, 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 it's amazing. It's just amazing. Great. Right. Uh, before we actually enter this area and uh, fight all of the uh, shriekers, um, I uh, actually need to purge them somehow. So there may be a way to go through here safely. And I think think uh, it's to stand up here then to use a purging wand and walk across the area on the right side here and not interfere with the uh, shriekers at the entrance I would say but uh, this is definitely something for another episode until then like and subscribe as usual and uh, ta-ta